With that, our final battle, like all our other battles, ended like nothing had ever happened. After the Victory Day Festival concluded, Balduk returned to normal. This was thanks to Warden Valger and Governor General Lindheim resuming their posts. The Glean Hieroglyph Knights were reinstated with a new master from the church. Things weren't exactly the same around Balduk, but little by little, it would regain its spirit. One of the changes was that the Monstrums were never seen again. With the Grimwald Nox gone, we had lost our gifts. Aprilis told us that the curse was always tied to the Grimwald Nox. There were rumors of the Monstrum's whereabouts, but they went away eventually. Maybe one day, the Monstrums will be forgotten altogether. But in the meantime... All right, I think I'm all packed up. Perks of travel and light. I prefer bringing memories instead of stuff. You ready to go too, Adel? Yeah. Oh, <sighs> sorry to keep you waiting. You wanted to say goodbye to Carla and Shante, didn't you? We can do that before we leave. Oh, my dear, you're not really leaving me, are you? Whatever will I do without you? But I suppose that the original intent of this bar was to help you leave. That's why it's called the Dandelion, right? A seed that floats into the wind, onto a new journey. That's right. I knew this day would come, so this is for the best. <laughs> I suppose I'll have to hold back my tears and see you off with a smile. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my darling Adol! 
I couldn't forget you in a thousand years. What are you gonna do with the bar? I've thought about it, but I can't bear to leave her. I've grown much too fond of this place. So I think I'll keep her open. I'll save two seats for you at the bar, okay? When you return, she'll be even more gorgeous than you remembered. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. I'd like to express my gratitude as well for everything you've done for this city at all. I still haven't wrapped my head around you being Cardinal Lindheim. You might be one crafty guy, but you're all right in my book. I've always had a knack for hiding my identity. No. There's no need for formalities. I only came to say goodbye as Parks, your old friend from the Dandelion. I heard that when Lindheim was younger, he worked in the mines for two years in secret. In the entire two years, nobody suspected that the son of a noble was working amongst them. And I did it to understand the perspective of the people. Being imprisoned with you and escaping was an experience I'll never forget at all. You've got more guts than the best of us. <laughs> There's all sorts of characters in the Roman Empire, huh? Now, I hate to see you leave, but we wouldn't want to keep you. I'd wager there are other people waiting to see you off. Ah, that's right. We have to go see Carla at the Pendleton Company. Without her, the Dandelion would never have happened. Adol, Dogie, be careful out there, okay? We'll be wishing for your success in all your future adventures. Bit or something?
Voyons voir. Yeah.
battle.
है Yes.
What?
Both for coming. Didn't know you'd be here too, Krisha. Carla told me that you'd be stopping by. I, um, wanted to say thank you one last time. Not long ago, I thought that I'd have to be a monstrum for the rest of my life. But you freed us from the Grimwald's Knox, at all. I'll make you proud. So, how are you adapting? You've all returned to your original non-homunculus bodies, right? Yes, except for Anamona, of course. But thanks to Dr. Noah, I feel perfectly normal. <laughs> well, there is the little problem of all my old memories getting jumbled up. But we've all decided to look to the future, instead of dwelling on the past. Yeah, that's a good outlook. <laughs> I didn't want you to leave worrying about us. Uh -huh. Hey, that's weird. <laughs> I... I... I don't want to say goodbye at all. Can't you stay with me a little longer? <laughs> You know he can't do that, Krisha. Carla! Besides, Adol's already done enough for us. Let's not make him do any more. I'm sure that Adol and Dogi have more people they have to see before they go. I know. I know, but... <sighs> I never thought Krisha would take to you so well, given how shy she used to be. On behalf of all of us at Pendleton, Thank you, for everything you've done. Krisha told me what had happened. You're a hero, Adol. No. That's true, you know. It was Adol's history that started this mess. You may have a point, but it was my honor to have helped you, nonetheless. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you. Shantae's the one who did all the heavy lifting. Though it's unfortunate a business partner as promising as you is departing. Whenever you decide to return to Balduk, you'll always be welcome at Pendleton. <laughs> we might just take you up on that. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, Adol. Please, come back to Balduk one day. I'll be waiting for you. Stay well, Adol, and safe travels. Kristen. At last, I finally found you. Where have you been hiding? Doesn't she work for the Roman Empire? The, uh, oh, what, what, what does she do again? Yeah. So you've uncovered my top secret assignment, have you? I will admit, there may have been some truth to your statements from the interrogation. Though, I was reluctant to acknowledge it. But now that I have, I realize that you're even more dangerous than I thought. Now you will come quietly back to the prison with me. What? Adol, show her what Parks gave you. This is one of those times it would come in handy, right?
What's this? An adventuring charter? This is unmistakably Cardinal Lindheim's handwriting. How in the world did a reprobate like you get your hands on this? More importantly, when did Cardinal Lindheim return? And what of Shadowlard and the others? Wait, you really have no idea? The Cardinal's been back as the Governor General for a while now. As for Shadowlard, he's gone. So the Hieroglyph Knights are restructured. Preposterous. I haven't seen any report since I escaped the Hieroglyph Knights and hid underground. Guess she wouldn't know. She's been under a rock. <laughs> Literally. Speaking of, I don't mean any offense, but... Uh... You kinda stink. F for, for all I know, you may very well have forged this letter. I must confirm its legitimacy with the Cardinal at once. Hey! Listen here, Adol Kristen. If I learn you forged this letter, I'll have you imprisoned once more. You stay right there until I come back. She's persistent. I'll give her that. But we should probably get going before Deputy Crazy gets back. If we go now, we shouldn't have any problems leaving through the front gate. for a fight. Adol! Ah, good. It seems we've caught you just in time. Jules. And Dr. Noah. I'm sorry, Jules. You can't walk anymore after losing your gift. Right? Yep, I got the short end of the stick. My original body has the same disease too. Maybe I'll find a way to restore the Grimwald Knox so I can have my gift back. <laughs> well, it beats being a wet blanket about it. <laughs> Good old Jules. Oh, I have a message from Anna Mona for you. She said, thank you for everything. Let us meet again. No frills, straight to the point. That's Anima for you. Despite how concise the message was, she did appear sad you were leaving. In any case, I believe the choice she made was for the best. Sola was generous enough to perform one final procedure for her. Ah, I get you. So, what's the plan for the Noahs? About that. We found a lead on Jules' disease. Me 
maybe... The research documents that Zola left behind give me hope that he can. I don't expect him to be cured immediately, but I'm sure we can slow its progression. In fact, he's already doing so well, he insisted on coming to bid you goodbye. Hey, that's great news, Jules. Well, I'm not out of the woods yet. We still don't know if I can be cured completely. So, you two really are leaving. Yeah. I'm sad to say bye too, kiddo. Are you going to continue your adventures then, Adol? Hey, um, if I can walk again someday, do you think I could come to visit you? Yeah. Really? I'm going to hold you to that. Then you can tell me about all the new things you two have seen on your adventures. <laughs> you got it. We'll tell you so many stories you'll be begging us to stop. In the meantime, make sure you record your own adventures in that notebook of yours. Then we can swap stories next time we meet. Right, Adel? Then... Hmm. I just might do that. Adol, Dogi, thank you for everything you've done for our family. Jules, Pamela, and I wish you the best on your journey. We appreciate that. You've done plenty for us, too. Thank you, both of you. And take care. Right back at you, Jules. All right, then. Time to go, Adel. Would you look who it is? Oh, looks like we just made it. We've got ourselves an entourage. Did you all come to say goodbye? Yeah, both of you have done so much for all of us. The least we could do was send you off in kind. My co-workers also send their regards. They covered for me at the Coliseum so I could come say goodbye. <laughs> Your boyfriend here is a keeper, Yufa. B -b -b boyfriend When are you two gonna make it official already? Go! Um, I'm sorry about that. El Ood! Cut it out! <laughs> That's the Gamberg family for you. Felix has got his work cut out for him. Thank you for everything, Adol. And for all you've done for our sister, especially. Your sister's the one who's gotten us out of more scrapes than we can count. Yeah. 
Yeah. The b best? She's fun to tease, too. Look! Yufa's blushing! Uh, hey, you two! What did I just say? I haven't even said goodbye to Adol yet. Uh, well, now it's too quiet. Hurry it up, woman! Adol's busy, you know. I love this city, just as my mother and father did. And I'm glad I can continue living here with my siblings. So thank you for that. For giving us the push we needed. The wounds we've suffered may never heal completely. But I'll keep my head up and smash through every wall that holds me back. As long as we're all smiling, it'll give mom and dad a reason to smile down on us too. I'll follow your example, Adol, and keep looking toward the future. <laughs> yeah! Wait, b both of us? You kids take care too. Don't give your sister too much trouble, you hear? <laughs> we'll do our best, Nogi. Bye-bye, uh, Adol! Don't be strangers, okay? Best of luck on your travels. Both of you. We'll miss you. But don't look back, okay? We'll never forget you two. Neither will we. Adel Kristen! Uh-oh. Here comes the warden. Yes. You as well. So... I take it you're leaving? Yeah, that's the plan. Good. <clears throat> that might be for the best. What do you mean? After everything that's happened, the Imperial military's on their way from Rom. Relatively new Paranormal Investigation Division is also involved. Whew, they don't waste any time, do they? You know Ingrid, don't you? She's actually a highly ranked officer in the Imperial Army. She used her connections to request additional support from the Roman military. No idea how she managed to report on all those events while she was in hiding, though. I heard the two of you were the primary suspects in the investigation. Come on, can't we catch a break? Huh, 
I am a Roman soldier, so if they require it, I will be obliged to aid them. Anyway, I thought I'd give you fair warning. Thank you. You don't need to thank me. A soldier always repays his debts. Stay sharp. Until we meet again, Adel Kristen. Looks like there's one more person waiting for you. Heading out, Adol? Now that the Grimwald Knox is gone, the people's fate rests in their own hands. There's a possibility of a far more disastrous war or calamity in the future. That being said, you all risked your lives to pave this new path for Balduk. Now it's our responsibility to ensure it leads to the future this city deserves. Yeah. I appreciate the sentiment. We can do no less as the people who live upon this land. You are kind, Adel Kristen. And you are also steadfast. Do you remember when I told you I wished the Monstrums didn't have to fight anymore? It was right before our final battle. Yeah. Hmm. Teasing me now, are you? I had a feeling, Adol, from the moment I met you in the prison, that you would be the one to spark the change that I could only dream of. But I always reserved my expectations. And yet, you exceeded them anyway. Thank you for freeing the Monstrums. This is the first moment in a very long time that I myself have felt free. Then... Hmm. I'm sure you've spent your life living for the sake of others. Though, I guess I'm not one to talk. But, hey, it might be good for you to take some time to yourself for a change. Interesting. I can do that now, can't I? Yeah! Yes, you're right. Adol, thank you again. For everything. Though it pains me to see you go, I'm glad for you all the same. Goodbye, Adol. So, where to next, Adel? If you want to stay on the road, we can head towards Garmin. Or if you're pining for the sea breeze, we can take a trip overseas to Bretai. You really took that dandelion thing to heart, huh? By the way, I've been meaning to ask, been on the road for a while now. You ever think about settling down anywhere? <laughs> Come on, you're killing me, Adol. Well, no sense stopping now. The road suits us better, after all. We made a lot of great memories here, with a lot of great people. Wherever the next destination may be, I hope we meet more folks like that again. Hey, Adam. Look, 